You know, Splatoon's pretty damn great. I mean, did you ever imagine that the most original and <gasps> innovative online multiplayer shooter would come from Nintendo? Bright, colorful worlds, fast-paced PvP matches, a silly and funny lore to... Wait. Wait a second. What is that? Is that Nipponese? What am I looking at? Ever look all over the streets of Inkopolis, the floating islands of Octo Valley, and the multiplayer maps and see this weird alien text all over everything? What is that? Is that some sort of inkling language? A language? No. Sadly, all the letters seen in Splatoon are nonsense. How do we know this? We ask Nintendo. This isn't like Legend of Zelda games, where Hylian characters simply replace Japanese hiragana and katakana, or English letters. Nope, Splatoon signs and apparel are all completely meaningless. Although there is some research suggesting that it's actually a cipher. Either way, a language this is not. In light of this, we here at Inkopolis University are here to remedy that. Over the last several months, our team of highly trained linguistics experts have assembled every letter found on signs and clothes all over Splatoon. We've worked night and day to fabricate some sort of sense and order from the fresh but ultimately meaningless letters. The first thing we learned was this. There are two alphabets in Splatoon. You see those smaller square letters? Those are seen across Inkopolis and in sunken scroll pages about Inkling culture and history. That there is called Inkling. You see those taller, thinner letters? Those are shown mostly next to images connected to Octarian culture. That's Octoling, and we've got a language in the works for that too. The second thing we noticed was that, within this Inkling text, there were 60 or so base characters strewn throughout the game world, many of which are flipped, flopped, or given some extra line or something to create some alternate form or glyph. Think of a lowercase a and capital A being two glyphs of the same letter. Altogether, they create 127 unique letters and basically infinite alternate glyphs. After that, it was a matter of assigning phones, or spoken sounds, to each one in some reasonable fashion. What did we come up with? Well, you see, it's not a phonetic language like English, where each letter is a vowel sound like E or a consonant sound like N. Inkling is a language that's composed of syllables, or entire combinations of sounds all in one letter, like ka, te, su, ro, chi, zie, shai, tsa, ise, ea. As you can see, the phonetics here really aren't that tough. Five vowel sounds and 19 consonant sounds. From here, you can speak actual inkling, like actual words. For example, iru, which means hello, or hanu, goodbye. The word for ink is muyo, and muyo is shot out by a squid, or diu. The name of this project, Inkopolis University, is mijuo naipie daga mishaya. That's right, we created an entire language, from the ground up. Following the link in the description, you can find the hub page with our full Inkling language guide, filled to the brim with all letters, every word, and every bit of grammar, and how to say them. And that's not all. Stay tuned for more videos where I'll teach you Inkling lessons. This was just an introduction. Next time, I'll introduce you to the very basics of our fan language. Before you go, just make sure to like and subscribe and everything. Iseo Payoza. My name is Payos. I'll see you next time. Hanu.